Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing so far today? Not bad. Work, work, working, working, and working. Oh, yes. So the only thing is we said another day, another dollar. <laughs> yes, the money is very good. The mm. finish months. <laughs> yes, it is the it, best. It, I, and it's necessary to go to the beach. Yes. It's to go, the teacher is to go to going to the to the beach is 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 correct. It's necessary going to the beach. Yes. It's planning a future. Yes. So you're planning to um going to the beach probably next weekend, this coming weekend. Okay. Is is a no, you can uh, say um, going to the beach. It's um, your plan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, agregar. What does? What, what do you say? Add. Add. Yes. A D D. A D D. Add. Exactly. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. And you? How about you? I'm doing fine. Better than in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Really? Okay. Yes, um, just feel like, um, um, I like, yes, I was with a fever in the morning and a headache, but I'm okay now because yesterday I got my second doses of the COVID vaccine. And yes, <laughs> okay. but I'm better now. Where do you work? Um, at Inglés Corporativa and then at TOG. Mm -hmm. A full. Full time. Yes, full time at TOG. I'm starting at 7 a.m. and finish it at 5 p.m. or 4.20 sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's good, good. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. After that, I take a little rest and then I teach. <laughs> okay. Another um, partner? What's up? Um, another partner? Yes. Hmm. The 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 classmate oh yeah your classmates i don't know where they are <laughs> but yes it's time to start the class and the other people what do you uh how is your day going so far hey probably, probably they are a vacation too no we have already had vacations <laughs> yes, it finished. It, yeah so, and now we, you, we will start the process of um, signing in the next course. So I don't know if you will have a couple of day offs. Yeah, but no vacations for now. <laughs> no, no vacation. Teacher, only, only this day and tomorrow is the finish, the, the first course. Uh, the we're going to finish next week by Tuesday. Next so we're week. still having classes tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday, and we finish. In, in Tuesday? Yes, we finish on Tuesday. Okay, okay, good. Uh, so, and Walter is already at the beach. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's at the camera now. Yeah, I, li I like it. I like it. I very, very like it uh, for me. The sea, the beach, and the paisaje, pias coladas, <laughs> unlimited. <laughs> yes, yes, piña colada, whisky, and tequila. It's good. Okay, very, very so plans. I'm going to save money to visit the Cameron or to spend a couple of days on the Cameron. <laughs> I. A me teacher, I probably probably uh, to to travel or to trip. Uh, you're going to, to travel. Go, I'm, going, I'm going to travel. Yes. Uh -huh. And next next month. Oh. The, okay. At the United States. Okay. Awesome. For Good vacation. for you. Okay. So, vacation. what about Here. the classes? <laughs> Is, this, this is a problem, teacher, for me. No, okay. So you're going to stop for a while? Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay, it is important to let the people know that you are going to stop. Siempre que vayan a parar un curso, avisen para que no los vayan a inscribir, vea, y luego quede como que no lo siguieron. No. Yeah. Sí, che, pero este, este curso empieza la otra semana. I guess, well, no sé si van a ir de corrido todavía, no nos han dicho nada. No se sabe cuándo termina, porque yo, yo salgo del país el 15 de septiembre, del 15 al 30. Mm. Y allá, ¿verdad? Por los horarios y todas cosas, no creo, y la salida, ¿verdad? no creo que estarme conectando, espérenme, espérenme con el tequila, ¿verdad? Con el, la playa. Oh, yeah. que voy a <risa> Okay. Hey, what, what's up, Walter? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Excellent. So far, so good. What do you think? Interesting idea about yeah. tequila. Oh. It's good. <laughs> the first, the first, I'm going to uh, Miami. The second, my God, is, uh, Las Vegas. My God. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But you have, you, you, you have a lot of money. You, you have a lot of money. Wow. <laughs> it's well here. Wow. Okay. Would they like to be my friends too? <laughs> you, you, don't have, you, you don't have excuse. Oh. Yeah. I think, yeah. No excuses for that kind of invitations, no. right? Especially okay. if you are sponsored. <laughs> but patrocinado, you are sponsored for that yeah. trip. <laughs> yes, yes. Nice. Okay, I'm happy to hear that you're excited about your vacations. Yes, it's necessary to take breaks from time to time. But yeah, just uh, leave everything in order. Let the people know that you're going to stop classes for a while and then you're going to um, retake the courses and that would be fine. Okay, um, thank you teacher. Okay, have you received any notification about when are you going to start or just filling up the documents? Yes. Okay, Alfredo, just filling yes. up the documents or you have a date? Yo esperaría, teacher, que es que de la empresa los tenían que mandar, ¿va? No. Uh, if uh, if it's the people from human resources in charge of that, it will be like the same in the first time. So, si Recursos Humanos hizo el papeleo por usted para este curso, sería la misma metodología. Okay. Uh, pues, sí, Thank teacher. You. Yes, Así it's es. easier. I'm going to take Excel classes in, in two weeks, yes. And people from human resources is moving everything for me. <laughs> so, I don't mm -hmm. have to worry about paperwork. <laughs> So it, it will be the same case. Sí, teacher, en nuestro caso de recursos humanos solo me pidió el certificado, ¿verdad? Y ya ellos procesaron la, la nueva inscripción. Okay, yes, very good. So make sure that the, everything in your certificate is okay. Your name, the date, when yeah. you start and when you finish sí. the course. It's okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. awesome. I'm happy to hear that. Actually, uh, one hour uh, ago, I revised, review. You check. Revised, check. Check my certificate. And yeah, I changed my, I changed the, the date. Oh, okay. Very yeah. good. Nice that they um, took on nature of that situation. Um, okay. So we're going to start today with our presentation and let's see yesterday we were talking about making plans right yeah. um we did that part and what do we said about using future what tenses are we using here to express future i'm going to um, and and present, present. Present progressive or present continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, what is the difference? When can I use the present continue to express future? And when ca I cannot use it? Uh, I think when use a present progressive, I need to use a, a time expression. Yeah, and a time expression. Uh, yes, yeah. very good. Anybody else? There is another one. 
When cannot we use the present continuous to express future? To make. Mm. To make plans. Mm, not exactly. Mm -hmm. No idea? Predictions? Predictions, yes. Yeah. That's it. No. So we cannot use present continuous to predict things in the future. No. Okay. Good. Uh, now let us complete this conversation using be going to. So in this one, we're going to use only be going to. Remember that when we say be, it uh, we need to uh, conjugate the verb be into um, is or are depending on the subject. For example, here in this question, the subject is you. So I change the verb be to are. What are you going to do this weekend, Mark? Mm -hmm. You can uh -huh. write. Uh, you can write the answers in your notebook, and then we're going to check. Okay. 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 Brian, Brian, he's, he's to visit. But but uh, Teacher, today I learned a new word. Which one is that one? Stationary. Okay. O sea, papel membretado. Okay, nice. Can you write it on the chat? Okay.
Oh, okay, stationary. Yes, it's very useful. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's new. I think. Yes. I I think. Uh, a parking. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's similar. That word. Yeah. In Spanish. <laughs> yes, but now you know that it is nothing to do with parking. It has to do with legal paperwork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Thank you for sharing. Okay, uh, let us check second sentence where it says Mark. It says I. I what do you come to? I'm going to, to a rock do. concert on Saturday. Go. I'm going to go. go. I'm to. going to go. Yes, we need to use the verb. I'm going to go to a rock. rock concert on Saturday. Mm -hmm. All right, that well, sounds interesting. Of Saturday. Mm -hmm. That sounds yes. certain. There's a park fee concert in the park. Uh, how about you, Marta? Well, Brian and I are. are well, Brian are, are, are going to see. Are going to see. Are going to see. A um, basketball game. A basketball game. Afternoon. In the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see a basketball game in the afternoon. Okay. What and what? Teacher. Teacher. In Are this you sentence. Going to, go, to do in this in the evening. What? Uh, in this sentence, you said? Are you can well well, Brian and I uh, we are going to we are going to see only and uh, Brian and I are. Yes, uh-huh. Brian no, and no, I are. No, no we. No we, because not yes, um, no, it is not necessary because Brian and I, they are the subject. If oh, we okay. mention we, we are mentioning an, uh, the same subject twice. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why it's not necessary. Good, thank you. Okay. and. Mm -hmm. And and what? Uh, yes, we stop here. And what are you? Are you going? Are you, to are you going to go are in the evening? Are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Yes. What are you, going, are to you going to do in the evening? In the do. evening. Okay. Now the answer, Brian. Is going to. You're going to visit. He's going to visit in the hospital. He's more in the hospital. Very good. Ryan is going to visit his mother in the Ryan hospital. Ryan is going to visit his mother right. in the hospital. Yes, it's it's going to visit his mother he's in the hospital. He's going to visit. But I. But I'm not. I'm going but to. I not, not oh, going but I not. But I not. Do anything um, really. But I not. I'm not. Uh huh. But I'm not going, going I'm to, not do. to do. Going to do. Okay. Anything really. Anything well, really. Uh huh. I'm going to help some friends over for a barbecue. Would you like to come? Thanks. I love Thanks. to. Yes. I love to. Yes. Excellent. Well, I'm going to have some friends over for a barbecue. Okay. Good. Can, can I say? Well, I I am I having some friends I'm over going to have, for a barbecue. I'm going to have. Yes, uh huh. You can do that uh, as well. You can say, I'm having some friends over for a barbecue. You can use the present continuous as well. Puede ser present continuous. El ejercicio nos limitaba al going to, pero ya decíamos que lo podemos usar ambos tiempos. Good question, Ricardo. And yes, well, you're correct. But you, if I use the uh, present continuous, I must express a uh, time. For example, I am having some friends over for a barbecue on Saturday. Uh, you can do so, but in this case, 
en este caso, como ya están hablando del time, ya están diciendo que es en la tarde. In the, okay. Ajá, como ya en la conversación uh -huh. ya se mencionó el tiempo, puede, puede omitirlo porque ya se mencionó previamente. Uh -huh. Good catch. All right. Now we can continue with the part uh, of the conversation. Can I take a message? Right. So we're going to go to the platform and listen to the recording. Teacher. Yes. Uh, it's normal when you talk, use a, a, a informal way. For example, to referring to going to, or we use a gonna. Sounds good or no sounds good? You can use it if you are talking with friends, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. When talking to friends, you can go ahead and use it. And also sometimes in writing, but you always remember that this is not really formal and you cannot uh, use it, pro for example, with your boss. Uh, yeah, but yes. It's not like a scene if you do that. Okay. No, se puede hacer, es como normal. But yes, you can do it. It sounds more quickly when told. Yes, it's a, yeah. it sounds really quick when speaking. This is making plan and this one. Okay, I'm going to share some. Let's listen. Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Four o three one. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. You are muted. No, uh, thank you so much. Do you have any questions about this? She's not in, es, es como decir no ha entrado. Uh -huh. No ha entrado. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, no está, no está aquí, no está dentro. She's uh, not okay. in. En el número telefónico uh, no dicen zero, sino O. Oh. Mm -hmm. Eso es normal. Yes. Uh, okay. Cuando We digo can, zero. Uh, you can use both. You can say zero or you can say O. Oh. Uh, okay. Either or. No makes difference. Okay. They are very common, both. Mm -hmm. Okay. Questions? Okay, we're going to practice uh, pronunciation. I'm going to play the conversation and I'm going to stop 
after each interaction. So I would like for you to try to repeat as much similar as you listen. Let me see if I'm sharing audio again. Yes. Mm, okay. Page 102, exercise seven, conversation. Can I take a message? Part A, listen and practice. Good morning, Parker Industries. It's your turn. Repeat. Good morning, Parker Industries. Good, good morning. Good morning, Parker Industries. Parker Industries. Parker Industries. Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? Hello. Hello. Ms. Graham, please. I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. please. Yes, Mr. Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? Is that G-A-L-E? -E? 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 No, it's K-A-L-E. No, no, it's K-A-L-E. -E. -E. All right. All right. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Please tell her. Please tell her. Friday at two. Friday at three. Two. Friday at two. Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is six four six. Five 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 four zero three one. And could you, and could you ask, ask her to call me? Number My number is four six five five four zero three one. Six four six five five five. Four zero oh, three one. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Six four six five 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 four three one. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Mr. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Bye. Okay, I'm going to um, play the second part in the part B. We are going to listen three other calls. You're going to write down the caller's name. I'm going to play the conversation twice. So you can write down the caller's name. Okay, and after that, we're going to practice the Conversation in group. Are you ready? Okay. Ready. Okay. Listen ready. and write down the caller's name on this conversation. Page 102, exercise 7, part B. Listen to three other calls. Write down the caller's names. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, this is Tom Lee from the Beijing office. Can you ask her to call me back? She has the number. Of course, Mr. Lee. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, is Ms. Graham there? I'm afraid she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes. This is Susan Brown. Please have her call me back as soon as possible. The number is 846-555-9037.
Yes, Ms. Brown. I'll give her the message. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hi, is Mom there? This is Kelly. Oh, hi, Kelly. How's it going? Pretty good. Listen, your mom isn't here right now, but I'll tell her you called. Okay. Uh, you know what? That is too easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm not playing that one again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let us check your answers. What is the first name? Tom Lee. Tom Lee. Tom Lee. Tom Lee. And the second conversation? Susan, Susan Brown. Brown. Susan Brown. And the last one? Kelly. 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 Graham. Kelly. Yes, you are correct. Tom Lee. Susan Brown and Kelly. <laughs> well, that was too easy. Okay, now I'm going to create this um, breakout room so that you can practice this conversation. Uh, it is in the in the presentation as well. So let's see. Eight, five, six. Okay. Ask.
Okay, so I think that everybody's here. Let's see. Nobody is left behind. No, everybody's here. All right, so um, in this conversation, you will be um, you were able to practice the two verbs um, giving messages using tell and ask. What is the difference if you see or by looking at the chart? Can you identify the difference? So in the conversation, you used both, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's watch the video and see what is the difference or when do we use tell and when do we use ask? Uh, tell use when to referring a, a song one. Hmm. Yes, we need a direct object. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell and we mention the the object, right? And that is the conversation. Okay. Let's see what is the difference. Let me share sound again. Okay, tell and ask. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? 
Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Good. All right, so we are going to use the chart that we have here. Okay, here we have the chart. Now, um, what was the difference? Did you get it? Did you get it? No? Ask is for request something. Mm -hmm. Right? Ask That's is correct. For request something. Right? That's correct. Okay, so um, when we are using a weird time statement, we okay, use so, tell. Um, and for request, we use um, uh, when we are making requests, we use ask. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is like cuando estamos haciendo un statement, es, es como una, um, bueno, decir es de, dile, dile. Y luego, como decía el compañero y decíamos en el video, también se necesita eh, la persona. ¿Y cómo lo usamos? Con un object pronoun. ¿Cuáles son los object pronouns? Remember, if the subject is I, what is the object pronoun? Me. 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 Okay. If the subject is you, the object is? You. You, always. Oh, yeah. He. Him? He, his, him. Him. Uh -huh. him. Him. She. Her. 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 Okay. We. They. 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 Our. Our is the possession. Alguien creo que tiene ahí activado. No. Bocinas y el micrófono sí. al mismo tiempo. José Salvador, pero me parece a mí aquí. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, ya. Yeah. For we, the us, object is us. 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 Yes, us. Yes. Oh. Tell us. Yes, tell us. Mm. Yes, yes, and this and this. And for they. They are. They are. No, them. they are possessive. Them. 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 Uh -huh. them. Good. Por ahí estaba, solo había que desempolvar un poquito. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, so, always, okay. I always confuse some possessive and yes. the other one. Yes, oh, it's a matter oh, of okay. practice. It's just practice. Yes, está como práctica, pero sí lo saben. Saben cuál mucho, va con cuál. Mucho está. polvo, teacher. <laughs> sí, estuvimos más de un mes sin clase, no se vale. Eh, y eso es lo que les digo, a veces se empieza inmediatamente mm. al siguiente día, a veces solo se han dejado dos días de por medio, pero esta vez fue como un mes. Mm -hmm. Ajá, so, 
Después de tell, necesitamos el object pronoun. ¿A quién? Dile a quién, a ella. Tell her. Como aquí está. Tell her. Tell her. Y el that se puede omitir. Por eso está entre paréntesis. Puede usarlo, puede omitirlo y no hace ninguna diferencia. Yeah. Tell her that the meeting is on Friday or tell her the meeting is on Friday. Ya, yeah, we can omit that word. Podemos omitirla o la podemos usar y that it doesn't make any difference. Cuando es request es porque vamos a pedir, pídele y siempre es, uh, vamos a usar el object, a quién. En este caso es please ask him to. Vamos a usar el to también. Cuando mm -hmm. estemos haciendo un request, cuando estemos pidiendo algo con ask, vamos a... Um, y luego, uh, al principio pueden usar un modal para sonar más eh, polite, más amable, más suave. Please ask. Luego el object pronoun y luego el to y luego el verbo. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? We are telling the same. Estamos diciendo lo mismo. Solo lo estamos haciendo de una manera muy cordial, muy amable. Agregándole un modal al principio. Puede ser please, could, or would. Porque si lo hacemos como um, ask him to call me. So, yes, se puede. So, podemos hacer un statement con ese request. Pídele que me llame. Ask him to call me. But, it, yeah, we are giving an order. Pero si estamos pidiéndolo como favor, formulamos la pregunta de esa manera. Eh, questions. What is that clear? Si se fijan con tell, no usan el to, ¿verdad? Solo es con ask. Ask oh. him to. Ask her to. Mm -hmm. Ask them to, etc. Ok. Okay, let us do this exercise. I'll give you some time for you to write these messages. You have to on a scramble, meaning that you have to put them in order. And then we compare with a partner. We have to use those words. And here, number one and six, they are statements. Yes, they are statements, one and, and six. Um, as you see. The others are questions, so you need to follow the correct order for statement or for questions. And make sure if it says tell, ask, which one were you going to use? I'll give you time.
Okay, finished? No yet, teacher. No yet. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, volunteer for number one. Me, teacher. Okay. Please tell Ryan that the barbecue is on Saturday. Okay, very nice job. Nice, thank you so much. Uh, number two, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Walter. Could you ask Patrick to call me at 12? Very good. Nice job. That's the answer. Volunteer for number three. Me. Okay, Ricardo. Can you tell Amy that the dance performance is tonight? Excellent. That's the answer. Uh, number four, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Milton. Could you tell, could you tell Celia? The picnic is in the park. Good job, Milton. Yes, good job. Thank you. Uh, number five, volunteer. Volunteer for number five. Me teacher. Okay, thank you. Would you ask Noriko to meet me at the stadium? Okay, that's the answer. Thank you so much. And finally, number six. What do you got? Volunteer. Yes. Okay, uh, Diomesis. Mm -hmm. Please ask Jackson to, to bring the ticket to the rock concert. 
Excellent, Tito. Very good job. So let's check the answers. Here we have number one. Please tell Ryan that the barbecue is on Saturday. Could you ask Patrick to call me at 12? Could you tell Amy that the dancing performance is tonight? Would you tell Celia that the picnic is in the park? Would you ask Noriko to meet me at the stadium? And finally, please ask Jason to bring the tickets to the rock concert. Okay, now, um, is there any question about this? How do you feel that topic? Is it easy or is it difficult? No easy, but no difficult. So, I know, so. yes. Building uh, sentences or building questions with these structures can, um, it requires practice, yes. And yes, yes it's not. Yes, I need practice. Yes. I need practice, teacher. Okay, so um, yeah. we are almost done with section number five. Ya casi terminamos la sección cinco. Eh, solo nos quedan unos pocos ejercicios. Okay, so uh, solo me han dicho un tema que quisieran que repasemos. Mañana vamos a empezar el repaso. El lunes vamos a ver los ejercicios del examen y también pues podemos cubrir algo del repaso y martes pues terminamos el repaso. Solo me han dicho las tags, las so do I, so can I, so am I, all those. Solo esas me dijeron ayer. Have you talked in another Repa topic? Repasemos todo, teacher. <laughs> ok. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we can go ahead and look for topics. Vamos a, a ver. Yes, los topics que más nos hicieron como. Este yo veo que sí lo hicieron muy bien. Y lo único con eso al so do I, so can I, todo eso sí. Eh, more practice. También podemos incluir con los object pronouns para que practiquen un poco más. So, voy a preparar la presentación acerca de eso para el día de mañana, ya que ya casi terminamos. Y con este tema eh, podemos lo com practicar. Los comparativos. Oh, good. Teacher, los compar lo compar comparativos. Comparativos. Ok, comparativos, superlatives, and tag questions. All right. Yes, we still missing this exercise. Aún estamos eh, con este ejercicio de los requests and statements. Eh, lo vamos a hacer mañana, pues ya se nos terminó el tiempo. Tenemos que descansar. Vamos a escribir unusual favors. So you can go ahead and start thinking about them. Eh, pueden estar, empezar a, a, a pensar que podría ser un favor inusual or mensaje inusual que le podrían dar a alguien. And we have this one already done here. Dear Rachel, could you tell Brian to wear two different color socks tomorrow? And indeed, Brian did it. <laughs> Please tell Jeff that our class tomorrow is at midnight. Wow, that is a, a cruel um, <laughs> prank. Would yeah. you ask Sanji to bring me a hamburger and French fry for breakfast tomorrow? Mm, yeah, that is unusual as well. So uh, think about that and tomorrow we're going to share ideas right? and we're going to start with the review. So okay. thank you for joining today's class and see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, everybody. Okay, good night. 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 Good night.